Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new. My name is Emma, let me take a minute to explain what on earth I'm doing here. By now most of you are probably aware of the briefly entertaining beef that I had with the tax avoidant, physically abusive, young earth creationist preacher Kent Hovind and his demonic underling Matt Powell. The back and forth provided some brief chuckles for a bit and I made some really cool friends, but the disrespect, the condescension, the sexism, the cherry picking, it all became a bit much and I decided I was done with it quite quickly. Here's the thing, ultimately I do think it's problematic and dangerous to promote any kind of conspiracy theory. Young Earth creationism is a conspiracy theory, just because it's a religious one doesn't make it less so. But at this point, I'm sort of beyond caring about that. Everything that they have to say has been said a thousand times before by them and others. There's no science involved, they just keep repeating the same lines that have been debunked time and time again, there's no point to it. What I am most concerned about now is the way in which Kent Hovind in particular, Matt Powell has always been over about his horrible, horrible views, but the way in which they are slipping in more and more violent, dramatic, out there, horrific viewpoints into their religious ministry. I get quite a lot of messages, sometimes comments, mostly these come in direct messages for some reason, from people who I think are well-meaning. I just, I like to assume the best, saying things like, I don't agree with everything Kent Hovind says, but he's great at preaching the gospel. Or, I know you don't agree with them, but you shouldn't criticise Kent Hovind and Matt Powell because they are leading people to God. And I really, really hope that this video can reach those people. If you are a fan of Hovind or Powell, or both, Please, 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 please watch this video if you think that some of their views you don't really agree with, but for the most part they do a pretty good job analysing the Bible and you like those videos, I really would like you to watch this video and consider who you are supporting. Because there are a million alternatives, right? There are so many other preachers that share their views that do so in a much less harmful way. Now, I did a collab a while ago with Atheist Junior, if you do want to keep up with whatever nonsense Hovind and Powell are saying, go check out Atheist Junior. Also go check out AJ anyway, because um, because that's the good shit. We watched and responded to Wacken Atheist Wednesday, Powell and Hovind responded with some of their usual comments. They commented on how our videos are edited and how it's to remove stuttering. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like, I think they pre-recorded it because of course they have to pre-record it, edit it to get all their stuttering out and all of their um, 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 Somebody was going to put yeah. together all the ums from the uh, I'll put it together oh, eventually. Okay. Let's not even yet go into how Matt Powell edits other people's videos before he responds to them. Anyway, they talked about how funny it would be to have a video where it's just clips of content creators saying um, 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 or whatever. Uh, okay. So at the time I thought, wouldn't it be much better and more interesting and valuable to have a compilation of Matt Powell and Kent Hovind being horrible, horrible people? Despite this being quite short, it takes a really long time to gather clips and cut it together, so even though it's only a short, even though it's only a slice of their behaviour, I've whittled it down to just the prime examples of how awful they are as people. Of course more time passes as I'm preparing this in the background, and as time passes because they're not changing as people, Hovind and Pal continue to be really rude and awful to my friends and people that I like. Misgendering my friend Willow, giving her the wrong name, calling Creaky creepy blind man, continually being rude about AJ because AJ outs them constantly for what they do. I know it's maybe not a sensible reaction, but I, I do get more invested emotionally when they're rude about my friends and people that I like because I'm a human being. Typically if I get any of Powell and Hovind's fans that, you know, comment and stuff, if they come to my channel they usually say things like, she looks like a boy, <laughs> and other such you know, intelligent commentary, something something gay, unhappy, something something. But I really urge anyone who is a fan, and I know that most people who watch YouTube are 
normal, responsible people who don't say those kind of things, you're the vocal minority. I really, really urge you to watch this video and consider who it is that you are supporting. Try and watch this objectively. Think about what Matthew says about false prophets. Okay, false prophets claim to be speaking for God. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. I don't believe in prophets. I don't think anyone is walking around speaking divinely inspired things. And I think you should be wary of anyone who claims to be. But false prophets, people who claim to be speaking for and leading people to God while spreading objective lies and leading people to believe hateful and dangerous things, those people definitely exist. And I can think of no better example than Kent Hovind and Matt Powell. And I am convinced that they're getting worse. I'm convinced that they're getting worse. I don't know if they're getting worse in their actual views or if they're just getting more desperate, more... I don't know. It's, it's hard to express exactly what I think is happening. I'll just give you an example. One video of theirs that was brought to my attention recently featured Kent Hovind expressing the view, amongst many other things, that back in the AIDS crisis, people who caught HIV should have been isolated or euthanized. And I watched this clip and I... I came to the conclusion, this is genuinely what I think, I think he is starting to be more awful just as a way to bait reactions. I think what he wants is for people to keep watching Whack an Atheist, keep responding to it, because that... <laughs> you okay? Because that drives way more traffic to him. And I think he's taking it to this extreme level of starting to say, and in this video he says multiple times different people that should have been killed. He really, really keeps advocating for genocide. And I think he's doing it just to bait reactions, to get more views on YouTube. And we know that he cares desperately about his YouTube views because he goes on about them all the time. That is not the humble attitude of a godly preacher. Here's the trigger warning. Hovind and Powell want to execute people for being gay, which by extension means they want to live in a theocracy. We know from Kent's tax history that they don't care about the United States, they don't care about the Constitution. They want to take human rights away from trans people. They want to spread abject lies and misinformation about what Powell calls the LGBT. They don't want to pay taxes, they don't want to contribute to US infrastructure. They want to see women be submissive and silent, they want to remove women's choices. Kent thinks HIV should have been stopped by euthanizing everybody who has it, which, given the amount of time he dedicates in the video to making sure you know that he's talking specifically about gay men, is not a surprise. He says the same thing regarding STIs, basically anything that can be transmitted in a way that he doesn't like, with no bearing on the disease itself or how livable the condition is, even if you would live a completely healthy and fulfilling life otherwise, he thinks you should be executed. I can say with my whole heart after watching that video, I hope he is genuine, and I hope that, should he ever find himself with an infectious or contagious disease, he is the first to submit himself to be euthanized. Due to the nature of the comments that Hovind and Pal make, I have put time codes in the description, you should see the video split into chapters, so you can see the sections that have violent homophobia and transphobia. I know it seems sort of self-explanatory with this kind of video, but I've put them in for a reason. Just look after yourselves. Hovind and Powell respond to criticism by skipping past or cutting out the bits of videos that directly address how awful they are and the horrifying, horrifying views they hold and the things they say. So that is all this video is. There is no way for them to watch this without engaging with the awful things that they have committed to video, shared with the public, tried to spread to other people. I'm not interested in giving them what they want, which is reactions to their views on evolution and all this bullshit that in my opinion doesn't matter when you see what they are actually doing and spreading misinformation about. I just want people to see who they are. So do take care when watching this compilation. It is only about five minutes long. And to lighten the mood, there is a fun little treat I've made in the outro. So <laughs> if you stick around and check that out, uh, I, th I think it'll be worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Brace yourselves. Here come Kent Hovind and Matt Powell. Here she goes, folks. Here she goes. Hang on. I can say you're an idiot, and I can show you plenty of examples of that. This young fellow is obviously obsessed or possessed. I'm living rent-free in his head. But folks, don't worry, it's not crowded. I have lots of room in there, okay?
I just have to arrange my stuff around this video games and fantasy world stuff, okay? There's no kind way to say it. You're stupid. And that's why R and Ra and all these freaks, Richard Dawkins, and I said they're freaks, folks. All the Chinese look alike, okay? It's not you, right? I remember when we were living in Illinois, one of my, one of my sons was two years old. He went out and played in the street. My wife went out and said, no, son, you don't play in the street. Brought him back in. He turned around, walked right back out in the street. So she said, no, no, son, brought him back in and spanked him. Turned around, walked back out. Nine spankings later, he was determined to go play in that street. She called me. Honey, what do I do? I said, I'll come home. I'll explain it to him in a language he will understand. And he did understand when I got done. I won't tell you what I did because they'd call out. You know, I'd be in jail. Never mind. <laughs> Children should fear their parents to the point where they don't do wrong. Young ladies, you, you may say, well, what's God's will for my life? Get married, bear children, guide the house. My first IT job, and there was a company harlot. The company harlot was looking to get with pretty much anybody she could. There are people that spend years studying Buddhism, and when they're done, they know all about Buddhism. They have a head full of useless mush. I did biomedical science at Warwick, which, when I applied to it... Some newbies with little or nothing in their head want to have my popularity. Send us the best evidence you got, honey. You're dumb. And he doesn't. He doesn't. So... <laughs> You're not special. What's his name? Creepy, creepy blind man. I said, son, I love you very much. I said, I know, daddy. What happens when you disobey daddy? He said, you get a spanking. I said, that's correct. Bend over. And boy, did I give him a spanking. It was a doozy. A few minutes later, the smoke is rising off his hind end, and the tears are coming down his cheeks, and the pearls are coming out of his nostrils. I mean, the whole thing. Like the whole uh, twin towers coming down from airplanes hitting it. It's just such a lie. There's no airplane hit the Pentagon. There was a missile hit the Pentagon. Buy a stack of these from our ministry and pass them out to every kid. And say, kid, I'll give you $10 if you'll watch this. There's one complete, absolute idiot moron, or the Palestinians. You ever heard of the Palestinians? Should have utterly destroyed them back then 3,500 years ago. Would have saved a whole lot of trouble, wouldn't they? I cringe every time I see his. He worked so hard to produce a good YouTube and 300 people watch it. We play around here and nonchalantly produce a YouTube and 10,000 people watch it. <laughs> Your idiocy. One idiot was talking about, uh, we had the boy drowned at our lake, you know, and what do you do? You know, kids do dumb things once in a while. And it's disgusting when I see a whore. It disgusts me. It's gross. You're dressing like a whore. You expect some loyal guy to be like, oh, I want that girl. Are you dumb in any other area, or is this the only area you're stupid in? Come on. This is the human brain. This is the average. I have met, I've had some students that used a whole lot less than that. I mean, way less than that. Okay. How many people have you uh, had sexual intercourse with, male or female? Emma? Shut up. Pay attention. You have a filthy mouth. Tell your mama, wash it out with soap. That's taking advantage of me. Dude, you will go to hell! I am not joking! And as far as homosexuality goes, you know, I, I believe the Bible puts a death penalty on it. I believe it's I believe it's disgusting. Obviously, I believe it's the government's job to, to execute criminals. And, you know, I believe that the Bible says clearly that homosexuality is a, is a criminal crime. It's a it's a it's a crime. It's one of the worst crimes ever by whatever means they execute people. And obviously, I believe in humane, you know, putting to death, whatever our government says, as far as like for a death penalty, I think should go for them. It might be legal, like homosexuality is legal in some states, but it's still not morally right. I have some friends uh, uh, that are claim they're homosexual. I've never met one that's happy. Never met one that's, that's just happy. Uh, they're a miserable bunch of people from what I've seen. I don't want my kids to grow up in a country where homosexuals are going all over the place and, and pushing their propaganda. I don't want my boys to have to see two sodomites kissing each other. I think it should be illegal. It's disgusting. You're going to get mad at me for saying this, but just this is obvious, obvious truth, okay? Suppose when the disease was first discovered, all those who had it were isolated or euthanized. Who was that wolf guy with the voice thing he had on there? Cyber wolf demon. Well, he's trans now. He commented on here and said, well, I'm a woman. Thank you very much. So, oh, they're now saying that transgenderism is somehow health care. People today think this is somehow cool and that it's really awesome to go and get a gender change. Emma. Emma Thorn. Emma. 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 Emma, 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 Emma Thorn, Emma, 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 Emma,